Hi there, this is me, Seth, from macOS 10 screencastcom This is my review about Scrivener. Scrivener is a writing application aimed at storyboard writers, writers, book writers, research or students, and all people writing documents in general. It is from Literature and Latte. The website is at literatureandlatte.com slash scrivener.html. I have already a document open in Scrivener. This is my honest thesis. You may already know this document from the Voodoo Pad review. What I did here, I exported them as separate RTF files and imported them straight into Scrivener. And once they are imported, they will be shown on the left hand side of the interface of Scrivener. This is a so-called binder. You can show and hide the binder by clicking the binder button in the menu bar. On the right is the so-called inspector. You can hide and show this one as well. On the left again, in the binder, we have three sections called draft, research and trash. In the trash can, all our documents are living we are thrown away. This means we can throw away a document and then afterwards decide if you really want to get rid of this specific document. In the research section here, all our images and PDF notes and, and everything else will be taken to when we add them to our project. Okay, to get us started I will use some specific feature here in Scrivener. This is called the split at selection function which uh, divides one document into two or three or many documents. Just grab your mouse, take your cursor to one specific position, go to Documents, Split, Split at Selection, and this will create a new document with the document below this uh, cursor position. So this one we will name Duration of Survey. The next, uh, the next document will have the name location of Surrey. Okay, now that we have three separate documents, we will group them together. This is very easy to do. Just select all of them on in the binder, click with your right mouse button and click on group. This will create a new folder and this folder I will name general conditions. You may already have recognized that Scrivener automatically switches between views as I'm selecting items in the binder. Currently we are viewing this folder as a corkboard. We can switch to the outliner if you want or we can turn it off as you have already seen. Let's get rid of a few lines. Just go into the document and select the lines you want to get rid of. Again, the next document has a few lines we will get rid of as well. And the last document is pretty okay. One very, very great thing in uh, Scrivener is you can select multiple documents, click on Edit Scrivenings, and this will create a very special view uh, for you, telling you that you are now editing three documents at the same time. These are divided by a small colored background, like this second document in the middle of this view. Just go ahead and write some text. And write some text here as well. Um, write some text here as well. <laughs> as well. And click Save. Now when we go into each document, you see that, that we have added some text to this document. You can set specific parts of a text to link to other parts in your current project. Just click with the right mouse button, Scrivener link, and then select a document you want to link to, like the duration of survey. This will underline this word and make it blue. And when you click it, you will be taken to the other document. This is very good to link uh, specific documents together. Let's go to the corkboard. From here you can set each document's synopsis. Uh, general conditions uh, synopsis. I know this is clueless and not very usable, but this is just a screencast showing off all the features of 
Scrivener. I may have added the synopsis not only on the cork board, but I can set it as well on the right here in this inspector section. From here in the upper half of the inspector, you see that here we have the synopsis section. We can create synopsis very fast when we select a new document and click this little button here. This will take some parts of the text and show it in the synopsis. We can set labels and a status. New status items can be set via either clicking this edit button or going to file, label and status setup. This will take us to the new label or new status setup menu. From here we can create new labels, another new label. We can set different colors if you want, like this screen here, and close the window, or or we may add new statuses by clicking the plus button, new status, or minus button here, accordingly. Okay, now we can set our very, very new uh, label to our document, and this goes for the statuses as well. If you want to show our current status on this corkboard, just go to view and the index cards show stamps and now we see our statuses as well. Now that we have covered almost all of the basic features of Scrivener, let's do some more stuff. Scrivener isn't just a text editor for plain text, it is capable of editing rich text format, just Select some text, go to text, font and choose whatever ornament you want to add to your document like bold text, italic, underline and, and all these options can be set to uh, text bold and the text will be bold. And now our, as our project goes along and it's nearing its final state, we may add or set some options our printing shop can handle and this can be done in the inspector as well. We can set specific uh, documents to not appear in the draft, including draft, and this will be not exported when we compile our draft. We can set a page break before this document and preserve formatting as well. We can set here document references, URLs and descriptions or keywords, these are tags, basically. When you're finished with your, with your work, you go to the file menu, and from here you select compile draft. This will compile your draft, as I was telling you before, and a new window will come up, showing you all the options. You can set your draft to like include some document or not, add a page break before, keep the format. This is these are the same uh, options you can set in the inspector as well. You can set very, very small, little and tiny options to your uh, draft if you want. You can set a very, very specific formatting for your document. And once you're satisfied, you can set an export format. This is very good. You can export to RTF, RTFT with attachments. Document, Document X, if you want to import it as into Microsoft Word, an HTML uh, website, web archive, or using multi markdown to export it to LaTeX, RTF, or HTML as well. Click Export. Now we will set a new name for our uh, document export. This will take a time and our document is has been created. This was it for the Scrivener review. I hope you like this uh, program a lot. If not, tell us. Go to our website, go to the comment section, leave us a comment and you can win one of three licenses to Scrivener and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye bye.